<laughs> uh, hello, everyone. My name is Megan Curtinback, and I'm a UX consultant here in London with the Experience Lab. Um, and what I want to talk about today is the experience that I just had using physical tools to research some digital solutions. Um, so this was in the context of creating physical visualizations um, to represent personal financial data. So the inspiration for this project, um, I'd been talking to a lot of my friends and had experienced this myself where they were really afraid, genuinely afraid to look at their bank accounts and their credit card statements because they didn't know what was happening. Um, and then I started noticing trends on Instagram and Facebook with memes like these. And I wanted to find out a little bit more about the background, why, why this disengagement. Um, and then I also had to do a master's dissertation, so it worked out really nicely. <laughs> um, so the approach that I took was I gave my participants a big bag of all kinds of physical tools, so Play-Doh and beads, different sized containers, sketch pads, all kinds of things, and asked them to represent their personal financial data over the course of a week. Um, and I'll get straight to the results because that's the interesting bit. Um, so a major theme that came out of this was the theme of understanding. So every single participant actually learned something about something new about their personal financial data through engaging with the physical tools and creating the visualizations. Um, so in this particular circumstance, this participant didn't identify as a spontaneous person, um, created this visualization and realized, actually, I do a lot of unplanned spontaneous purchases. Um, and that was just from creating this journey and actually stepping back and looking at what that day entailed. Um, so not only did they learn something about their personal financial data, but also about themselves. Um, emotion was something that ran really, really deep through this. So quite a few participants described that fear of being afraid to look at their data, being afraid to, to engage with it. Um, and this particular participant started with a really broad view, but when given some really approachable tools like beads and containers, suddenly it became something that they could address. Um, and so then they sort of adding more detail into their, into their visualization and looking for ways that they could sort of budget their beads and things like that. Um, and actually, by the end of the study, the participant said, actually, my situation isn't that bad. It's a lot better than I thought it was. Um, so helping participants and, and people to feel better through using the tools through an approachable way. And finally, motivation. Um, so some participants felt OK about their data. Um, uh, represented their current state, and then through the reflection, through taking the time to cut out the pipe cleaners, stick the stickers on, actually thought, well, what are some ways that I can get to where I want to be? Um, how can I visualize where I want to be financially? Um, and actually started doing research and putting effort into what their future could look like. Um, so in that sense, the visualizations and working with the tools were super motivating. Um, so finally, the key takeaways. I think that physical tools are actually useful for researching digital solutions. I think a lot of times in this industry we get caught up on digital tools, the digital world, and these insights wouldn't have come through um, had I used a digital tool. The physical tools were key in, in creating those insights. Um, and so what I learned from that was that numbers can tell human stories too, um, and using the tools actually made them tangible, and, and they, they gave context, and they made the numbers human and told them a story. Um, and finally, using personal financial data can be, and in fact should be, accessible to everyone. Um, personal data is just that, it's personal, and so I think that the people who it's collected on should be able to do some analysis, and they should be able to learn from it as well. Um, so that's everything. I'm happy to chat more. <laughs> um, any questions? Yeah, a combination of both. I wanted some things that were a little bit more structured, so beads, for example, are countable, but then something like Play-Doh is really malleable. Um, same with the pipe cleaners. I did also tell my participants that they're free to use whatever physical tools they wanted, they just had to be physical. Um, but I did include those. Nobody incorporated really anything else. They sort of stuck with that, but I did try to, to choose a variety of things. Um, one participant actually said, I don't like the Play-Doh, it's too scary, I don't know what to do with it. I want something countable. And so it was, it, there was a variety of, of different approaches, yeah. Great, thank you. Great, thank you. <laughs>